Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One of the many benefits of project management is the ability to perform earned value analysis. This term is also often called earned value management. This type of analysis lets you view project statistics that reveal the overall health of the project in terms of time and cost. It also helps reveal trends that can indicate the eventual success or failure of the project. When you view earned value analysis data in a project file, you compare figures from a specified date in the project file against figures from one of the baselines you saved in the project file. You must have saved at least one baseline copy of the project file to show earned value analysis results. You must also have accurately recorded the actual work and costs in the project file. In addition, you must select a status date so Microsoft Office Project can compare the baseline values against the values recorded as of the status date. To specify the status date, click the Status Date Calendar button in the Status Button group on the Project tab of the ribbon. In the Status Date dialog box that appears, use the Calendar drop-down to select the status date or simply type a date into the text box shown. Then click the OK button to set the status date. After accomplishing these tasks, you can easily view the Earned Value Schedule Indicators for the project by clicking the Tables button that appears in the Data Button group on the View tab in the ribbon, and then choosing the More Tables command from the drop-down menu. In the More Tables dialog box that appears, then select the Earned Value Schedule Indicators choice and click the Apply button to see the values in the Gantt chart view. Remember that these values are all set as of the selected status date for the project file. You can change that date in the Project Information dialog box to change the numbers in this view. This view shows the following data. The planned value, which is the budgeted cost of the work scheduled as of the status date. The earned value, which is the budgeted cost of the work performed as of the status date. The schedule variance, which is the difference between the EV and the PV values. The schedule variance percentage, which is the ratio of the SV to the PV expressed as a percentage and the Schedule Performance Index, which is an index value that shows how many cents of actual worth was accomplished by the status date for every dollar you plan to spend. You can also see the Earned Value Cost Indicators for a project file in the Table view of the Gantt Chart 2. To switch to this view, click the Tables drop-down button in the Data Button group on the View tab in the ribbon and choose the More Tables command from the drop-down menu. In the More Tables dialog box that appears, then select the Earned Value Cost Indicators choice and click the Apply button to show the values in the Gantt chart view. As with the Earned Value Schedule Indicators, you will see the Planned Value and Earned Value columns. Also within this view, you will find the Cost Variance, which is the difference between the EV and the actual cost of work performed as of the status date. You'll see the cost variance percentage, which is the ratio of cost variance to PV expressed as a percentage. You'll also see the cost performance index, which shows how many cents worth of work was accomplished for each dollar's worth of work spent. The budget at completion shows the total baseline cost for the task. The estimate at completion represents the forecasted cost to complete a task. The variance at completion is the difference between the BAC and the EAC. And the To Complete Performance Index shows the ratio of work remaining to the budget remaining as of the status date. Users of Microsoft Office Project who have Microsoft Excel installed can also create a visual Earned Value Over Time report. This is one of the many reports available in Project. This report shows a standard S-curve line chart that traces the cumulative value of three key indicators over time. The three indicators shown in this report are the actual cost of work performed, the budgeted cost of work scheduled, and the budgeted cost of work performed. To create this report in Microsoft Project, click the Visual Reports button that appears in the Export button group on the Report tab of the ribbon to open the Visual Reports dialog box. You must have the Microsoft Excel checkbox checked at the top of this dialog box to show templates from Excel in the dialog box. Also, you must have Microsoft Excel installed on your computer. 
To open the Earned Value Over Time report, click the Assignment Usage tab, and then click the name of the report to select it. Click the View button in the Visual Reports dialog box to open Microsoft Excel and show the resultant chart and pivot table for the report. After the report appears in Excel, you can manipulate it to show the desired data. When you are finished creating reports in Microsoft Project, you can simply click the Close button within the Visual Reports dialog box to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.